monitor, hopefully. I don't need it in my monitor. Sorry? You can take it out of my monitor. Okay. Anybody else want that? No? Okay, Sally, at your door, please. Well, I had it before, but I don't have it now. <laughs> Six, Okay, it's coming up in her monitor. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You want something Gordy's do? One, two, one, two, yes. One, two, one, two. Oops, I was... Here one, two, one, two, okay, that's funny. It's on this. How many little lessons sound like? I'm going to change that one, chord hour. Check, check. The versatility has been termed electric. With a solid foundation in country and folk rock, Runaway Express has also been known to throw in, throw in a little bluegrass, blues, rock, calypso, and rockabilly to complement their unique, unique style. The Runaway Express. Hey guys. Everybody having a good afternoon? The nice, nice. Runaway Express today uh, has Tom Butters on the electric guitar, I'm Jim Rats, this is Sally Severing Rats. Back here on the drums is Billy Brennan, uh, the mighty Harry Bruckner on the bass guitar, and Gordon Burke on the fiddle. And uh, we'll see if we can cover some musical terrain for you today.
music for you. This is called Howl at the Moon. Anybody seen any of those Perseid meteors yet? They're on their way. They're peaking on Saturday and Sunday night. I guess that's tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, they visit us once a year, but uh, celestial visitors from afar come and fill our Colorado night sky with, with beautiful fire. And uh, so be looking up in the sky tonight and tomorrow night for the Perseids. Uh, John Denver wrote a song called Rocky Mountain High, all about the Perseids meteor shower. And uh, that's what it is right now. And uh, take a little time for going out and seeing some meteors. And when you haven't got anything else better to do, take a little time for howling at the moon. Take a little time for sunshine. Take a whole lot of time for love. Take time to praise and thank heaven up above. Take your life as it may come, because boy, it'll be gone soon. Take a little time for howling at the moon. Express has had an opportunity throughout the course of our occasionally illustrious career uh, to play with some pretty groovy folks. Uh, we've actually had John Prine jamming with us, and we worked a lot with John McCune from the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Uh, Michael Martin Murphy has played with the group on a, an occasion or two, and uh, this group backed up the group Coasters. They did Yakety Yak and Along Came Jones and all those cool songs back in the 50s. But Harry and another couple of uh, Runaway Express members that aren't really with us today uh, had an opportunity to back up the legendary innovator, the poet laureate of the original phase of rock and roll, Mr. Chuck Berry. And uh, I think that Harry scared old Chuck just a little bit, just a little bit. I think uh, he's kind of going, boy, I, I, I think I better keep this freight train under control, or it's going to be, it's going to be plowing, plowing right over this legend of mine. But. Uh, uh, Chuck Berry and, uh, and uh, portions of Runaway Express, including Harry Bruckner, had a really good time in front of about 5,000 people one night. I was proud to be in the audience cheering those guys on. So uh, here's a Chuck Berry tune written uh, about a young girl that Chuck saw in an audience in Denver, Colorado in 1957. A lot of people don't know that this song was written about a young Denver girl. I don't suppose he got to know her, but he saw her down there in the front row and thought she was pretty sweet. So. 
He wrote this tune about it. They're really rocking it.
probably ask yourself, yeah, well, if you played with all those people, then have you ever played with Elvis? And uh, last night, last night was our first opportunity to play with Elvis, and, and he was just as nice a guy as you really, as you would have expected. So I have it from the horse's mouth. Yes, it is. <laughs>
you very much. I love that song. Iris DeMitt wrote that tune, and I didn't see the last episode of uh, Southern Ex Northern. Northern Exposure. <laughs> Gordon Bird over here has a group called Southern Exposure. No, no acquaintance to the, to the TV show, but the very last episode of, uh, of Northern Exposure, uh, they, they played the whole song, Iris DeMitt singing, kind of breaking everybody's heart because you knew you were going to say goodbye to your characters that you've kind of grown to love for the last three or four years. And uh, they grabbed a great song. Uh, it's called Our Town, Irish Demand. Well, everybody's going now, having fun. I'm just a go to say it all, and having none. I can't get over the house and set me free. Oh, lots of me. There's so many great songs hey, that have been written about. Band, you know, be <laughs> there's so many great songs that have been written about the very flamboyant lifestyle of of, uh, of uh, moonshining, contraband, bootleg, bootleg, whatever. This is one of the coolest, more contemporary songs about that particular activity. It goes like this. <laughs>
Well, when you're paying tribute to, to folks, there's kind of no better way to, to do it than choosing the perfect song. And to uh, the guy we're going to pay tribute to next, uh, he spent his lifetime handing us terrific songs and providing us with uh, a very interesting rock culture ambience. Mr. Jerry Garcia, and uh, here's a tune that he wrote. I like singing this song a lot. It's called Ripple.
Thank you very much.
proud to uh, to have with Runaway Express such a fine assemblage of players. Uh, Sally and I, she and I are the mom and dad of this band. And we kind of formed a duet many, many, many years ago and played some folk clubs and so forth. And, and then we just kind of found some of these players that just fit into the ensemble so nicely. And uh, the fellow that, that stepped into Runaway Express and took our, took our folky duet and turned us into a band because of his profound knowledge of rhythm and tone and melody and groove uh, was the mighty Harry Bruckner on the bass guitar. And uh, he's awful good. And uh, I know you've already noticed that, but we're getting, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the, the fact that we're going to spotlight Gordon on this next song. But before we do that, uh, first of all, Harry, if you don't mind, a little bit of the Star Spangled Banner for these folks. Uh, and then we're going to we're going to aim the stage over here at Tom Butters, and he's going to spotlight himself just by himself for a little bit on something. But ladies and gentlemen, here's Harry Bruckner doing a very patriotic piece. <laughs> And over here on this side of the stage, uh, Tom's been a bona fide member of Runaway Express. We don't we don't uh, we don't hire him all the time, but he sure has played with us a lot. And any time that Scott Bennett is uh, is missing in action, then uh, then old Tom Butters is well and able to, to step in and uh, and do an excellent job. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to feed your feature Tom here on something. I'm not sure what he has up his sleeve, but I'm sure it'll be in a team.
all leading up to is an opportunity to spotlight my favorite fiddle player in the state of Colorado. And Gordon Bird has his own group that he plays with uh, called Southern Exposure. And he also has another group that he plays with uh, called Upsidasium. That's uh, a rather interesting blend of uh, many varieties of music, but it's uh, acoustic guitar and Gordon on the violin and uh, a classically trained, uh, brilliant piano player. Uh, that Upsidasium group is really quite interesting, but Gordon knows what he's doing when he picks up that violin, or is it a fiddle? Who knows? But uh, he's going to do a little tune here called uh, the Fisher's Hornpipe. You guys going to help me out with this? Oh, yeah. Pass it around a little bit. Yeah. that it would pr probably be more fun since we uh, since we only have an hour and a half to play. It'd be more fun for us just to kind of keep playing uh, instead of taking a little break. So uh, that means that right now, since we're officially on break, we can kind of do whatever we want. So because that's the case, and I promise you I haven't worked on this nearly enough to be doing it in front of people, but uh, summertime uh, has meant a lot of different things to me all through my life, but because this particular song presented itself in my life early on, uh, it, I considered it to be one of my favorite songs when I was a kid growing up, and uh, maybe it's just because it was just perfectly suited for a nine-year-old brain, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna do a taste of it for you here. We're not rehearsed on this song, and, uh, uh, and so if it sounds rough, then it's because we're on break, right? We're taking a little break, and uh, we're just kind of milling around backstage and goofing off and kind of jamming a little bit. But uh, I just promised myself that I wouldn't let this particular summer get by without presenting the oblique lyrics. And finally, my, uh, uh, our, our good friend Scott Bennett on lead guitar uh, finally told me what some of these lyrics were. Well, are you coming or are you ain't? You slow pokes are my one complaint. 
Hurry up before I faint, it's summertime, right? And every night we'll have a dance, cause what's a vacation without romance? Oh man, this jive's got me in a trance. Ooh, I love that because it's summertime. So we're on break, we're just goofing around. I've seen the best minds in my generation. That's right. Runaway Express, we'll be right back, but uh, here in its place is a little improvisational uh, song that was originally sung to me on the radio waves back in 1958 by a group called the Jamies. we should do a Buddy Holly song. No one could do just one Buddy Holly song.
close to rewinding things up here. We'd like to thank the city of Westminster for uh, inviting us back. We, uh, we actually had, had an opportunity to play this uh, same event either last year or the year before. So either somebody's not taking notes or we did okay the last time. I don't know. If you can't, don't worry about it. Okay. We've got a raffle drawing over here for stuffed animals. Can you uh, announce it for us, the number when we get it? Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, I guess they're going to be drawing the... They're going to be drawing that number in three minutes. Or whenever our next song ends, whichever comes first. Well, we still got a couple of songs. We started a little late, so we'll... We're going to lose Gordon here right at 5 o'clock because he's got an obligation on down the line. 
but uh, we might be able to pull it off without Gordon, who knows? But Gordon, golly, if I don't get to say goodbye to you, thank you a lot for helping us out. This has been lots of fun today. And boy, it got nice, didn't it? When the clouds came over, ooh, it's nice hanging out here on the grass. And uh, it's a pleasure to be playing the music for you this afternoon. Once again, I'll introduce the band to you. Uh, Tom Butters is over here on the elite guitar doing a fine job. Back here on the drums is Bill, Bull Bill Brennan. Bill lives in Boulder. And he knows the stars. And he knows the homes of the stars. And he'd be glad to take you a tour of the homes of the stars for a nominal fee. He knows the caps of the stars. <laughs> uh, Sally Seven Rats, Jim Rats, uh, that's mom and pop of the group. We've been playing together since 1981. And glad to still be presenting whatever it is that we do because it's always different. But we're always glad to be uh, having an opportunity to, to sing songs that mean something to us. Uh, like I mentioned, Gordon Burke's been playing the fiddle for us. Look for him and his group Southern Exposure as well as his group Upsidasium. And just put your hands together for the best bass player in the state of Colorado that I can think of, Harry Brecker. How about that? Yeah.
Yes, indeed. Okay, now, I know there's a lottery. There's going to be a drawing here, and we need a number. We've got one more tune, I think, Runaway Express, if I could do one more tune for you while we say goodbye to Gordon. But I think we've got a lottery number. Is that right? We had a drawing. Then somebody got a number for us. The winning number is... Is it a name or a number? Oh, you got it. Neil Miner has won the prize over at the baseball booth. Neil Miner. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we got one more tune. Thank you, million, for uh, inviting us to your celebration. And uh, we're on down the road. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. This concludes the 96 Westminster Fair. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you.
this, and Tom uh, isn't general with this, but it could be. Okay. Sometimes we hire him and a regular lead guitar player. Okay. So we have a pedal steel player and a professional player. Thank you. So, Great. We can do all sorts of things. Thanks. I'll put you guys in mind. Appreciate it. Thank you. Did you get a picture of me doing business? <laughs> no. I got the voice. I got the sound for that, but the backdrop of the uh, the mountains while you're doing business. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I was looking for girls right now. Hey, the sound was really nice, man. I appreciate it. The sound companies it isn't always, you know. Even when they have the big shit, you know. It's so amazing. Okay.